During this episode of Scrap Mechanic Labs, get ready to build like your life depends on it. Because this giant rolling wall is coming for you. So look out and build yourself a way to escape the Wall of Doom. Got X Bun locked, Shadow Slayer, Jazzbo, and Archie with us here. And what we are going to be doing is having the most amazing building adventure. We're going to start off by going and cranking up the wall, turning it on at its slowest speed, and when that happens, everyone's going to start building something. Something they could ride on that'll take them away from this dangerous place and still harvest some resources along the way. So let's get to it. Okay, the wall is active. The wall has been activated. So you guys are going to need to start building something that will carry you safely ahead of it. Now I'm gonna run around and I'm gonna go meet the builders as they start working on a way to get away. All right, leading the pack, we have Xbun locked in his little tiny vehicle. It's going a little too fast, Xbun. So set it up with an electric motor and you want to cruise at a pretty slow pace because you don't want to go too fast. Otherwise, you'll be all alone up there. So um, let's see what else we got. Looks like Archie's got his platform going. So it's pretty much a slow race to just stay ahead of this wall. So let's see what the other guys are working on. Okay, we've got a little more progress here now. And uh, their vehicles are fleshing out pretty nicely. Looks like Jazzbo and Shadow Slayer are teaming up on their vehicle over there, and it's looking pretty good too. And we've got some supplies now that uh, we're dropping here, and they are just picking it up and adding it to their little survival platforms. The really, really cool thing about what we're doing here is that this scenario is forcing us to have to build while we're on the move. It's not about putting your lift down and building in any type of stationary way. We are modular. And as you can see, I dropped these little uh, these little goodies for them to pick up so that we're sort of RPing that we're picking up supplies that we discover while we're on our journey. All right, so far things are moving along very smoothly. Jazzbo and Shadow Slayer here have a nice little platform that's slowly moving along, crawling away from that very scary wall that's coming up behind them. Um, I'm placing these nice little surprises out here for them to find and add to their supplies as they move from one side of the world all the way to the other. This really is a super fun and cool way to collaborate and work together with other people in a scrap mechanic. Really there's there's nothing like the kinds of games we could play where you get to build and create along the way. But one of the coolest things about this is this is non-stationary building. This is pretty much these guys building their vehicles up while their vehicles are slowly crawling along this flat world. So um, we're going to keep exploring this and seeing how this goes. <laughs>
probably can't see we've already reached the other side of the map so this is going to conclude this incredible journey as you can see these vehicles were built up and even many of them were docked together as we traveled from one side of this flat world to the other trying to evade yep we just hit the main wall now as you can see we had a good distance between us and the, uh, the wall of terror that was chasing us across the map. So um, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I saw a lot of really creative solutions to the problems that we were dealing with. We've got plenty of water storage that we picked up along the way. Um, like I said, we connected a few of our vehicles together and docked them together while we were moving. It was crazy. But, um, like I said, we had a lot of fun. Keep dreaming, keep building. This is Chief Engineer signing off. Hope to see you guys again soon in our next adventure. Bye bye.